When I open the curtains in the morning, there's a groundhog waiting for me. Good morning, baby. Hello. He was a baby groundhog and he started coming up to the door like, what are you doing in there? He would hang out and he always had a very expressive face. Cutie. It's always funny when it's raining out because you just see like a little nose through the mist. <laughs> When I started to put food on the steps, that's when the cutie started to become a real part of our household. I did not expect to be the uh, chef owner of a groundhog restaurant, but he always stuck around. He knew not to leave a good thing. Good morning, baby. Cutie's been visiting for about four years. In the summer, cutie's actually pretty picky. She's all I have, bro. Bananas were by far the favorite. Sometimes he would come up and he would sniff at the food and then look at me as in, this isn't what I ordered, this isn't what I want. Do you have any bananas? The fact that Cutie has been coming around for four years makes it a really special relationship. Hello. He's a wild animal, but he seems to enjoy coming and spending some time with me, which is really nice. So it was really fun seeing him have his girlfriend stop by and become a dad to Dustin. Dustin started coming by about two summers ago and Cutie would show him around. It was because Dustin saw Cutie coming up to the door all the time that he had the courage to come up himself. <laughs> that was really heartwarming. It was definitely the groundhogs first, but really there's a ton of animals that live in the woods back there. More and more it seems like they could see this as their local watering hole. Local groundhog restaurant also serving chipmunks and turkeys. <laughs> It's really strange because I live in the suburbs. I don't live in a rural area, but I do have a little menagerie outside of all of the creatures that have been visiting my backyard. Cutie's been coming by definitely the longest. I certainly hope that Dustin will bring his kids by. I'd like to keep it going for a long time and many generations. I find comfort in knowing that they're living their natural lives, but really an awesome version of their natural lives where they have plenty of access to delicious food and comfortable setting to raise their families and to go about living their happy groundhog lives.